Welcome to Relationship SOS. The general topic that we're talking about today is how can you tell if someone is having an affair? And joining me right now is Deborah McLeod, right. relationship right? expert. That's spouse. Yeah. Right. Is having an affair. So how can you tell when you start to think that they're having an affair? Is well, that you just have to get a copy of Cosmo and they'll tell you all about it, right? Cosmo. Look at his cell phone bill. Look at this. Look at that. Hire a private detective. What? Not whoa, whoa, that's a lot with. to do. Yeah, but here's a clue. If you suspect that your partner is having an affair, they're having an affair. No, sometimes. Eh, most of the time. Most of the time. I will go out on a limb, because that's the kind of person I am, and I will say most of the time, if you suspect there's something fishy going on. There is. There is. And if Where there's, there's nothing smoke, going on, fire. you're crazy, right? Yeah, right? I wouldn't. I'm not going to make that leap of logic. It just it doesn't it would, quite it would be translate that the to me. Would be crazy. Well, maybe. Maybe they're, they're just making jealous stuff up in their head. Right? I'm not actually. I'm not being. I'm not being drawn into this. I'm going to stick <laughs> by what I said. If you have a feeling that there's a change in your partner's behavior, routine, you know, they're just a little. You know, their teeth are just a little whiter than they used to be, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Those things happen so, so for... So a woman going out buying new lingerie and you're, you're like, oh, that's Well, weird. if you're she's not like, seeing it, then, I mean, that's a clue. <laughs> that would be a big that's clue. That's not rocket science. But if you are, if she's buying all kinds of new lingerie every week, all it's of a sudden, all and you're like, oh, those little signs. And it, it, yeah. it tends to be those things, but a lot of it just tends to be, well, I'm working longer, or he got a strange text. I mean, that's a big one. Or he got contacted by this person. There was a weird phone call, whatever it is. When you suspect those things are happening, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... Most of the time, there is some substance to that. Because we have instinct, right? Women mm -hmm. have to start following their, their instinct. Although, have studies have shown that more women are being unfaithful than men, and we're better at it. I don't know. I, oh, well, we're better I, at it. By better at it, well, you, I mean who you all kinds for of things. Here, Deb, but what I mean is we're better at hiding it. Well, I don't know if you're better at hiding it. I think guys are worse at acknowledging it and believing that it's actually happening. I don't know if I get That's like a traffic circle in my brain. I can't really get around that. <laughs> well, men aren't very aware of their things that are happening around them. Let's just say that. That's true. But so, also women, because we have, so many, we have so many friends that it's easy to just kind of, I feel like I'm giving tips here and that's not really my point. But, <laughs> no. but it is. If a guy is used to his woman chatting with people, People on the phone or chatting on Facebook and all that kind of stuff because we are more social. Then it's easier to just say, "Oh, that was one of the girls," yeah. whereas ten men to have men tend to have fewer social friendships. Yes, and yeah, we, which is not an endorsement; it's no. just an observation. And we men talk less than women. So no. the theory goes. Um, so we'll <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time on relationship SOS. <laughs>